Hey YouTubers and welcome back to Tony the Technician channel and today we're going to be going into Lowe's website and looking at their savings uh, specifically their tools so if you just go to the top left and click savings it'll bring you kind of to this menu and then I just simply click tools and we'll kind of go through some of the things that catch my eye and then I'll kind of slowly sc scroll through so you guys can see everything I'm not going to mention everything we're just going to go through some of the items that I think are interesting and I would also like your guys' opinion on because obviously I do not own all of these items uh, first up is the new 20 volt DeWalt power stack batteries I've heard good things about them I run the DeWalt 20 volt lineup and the Milwaukee M12 lineup I actually just got in the mail today the DeWalt 3 inch cutoff tool that was announced last year and finally came out. I pre ordered it like two months ago. I got mine from Summit for I think 160, 170. And then when it finally shipped, I looked at the Summit website again and it was up to like 240 or 260. So I'm glad I ordered it when I did. I'm not sure if that's what it's selling for everywhere else, but. I got mine for 160 170 and I'll be doing a video on that so stay tuned but I've heard pretty good things about the power stack batteries I haven't purchased any of them yet so if you guys have any input on those please feel free to drop a comment down below here's just a simple portable table saw for 530 a sliding compound saw for 400 down from 450 here it shows it's it's weird because some items it shows like here are the savings like here you see it on the DeWalt sliding compound saw but like on the variable speed jigsaw and the the dremel like it doesn't show any savings so i'm not sure if this is the original pricing and then also keep in mind that some things are like you buy a tool and you get another tool for free and things like that they have deals like that going on as well here's the craftsman versus stack 216 piece sae and metric combination socket set uh, so it's got quarter inch, three eighths, and half inch drive. I actually have this set. I think I got mine for a hundred dollars around the holiday. I purchased this because I run the Versus Stack system in my work van, and this works very well for me. No, it's not the highest quality. It's not the best stuff, but it works very well for me for what I need it for. Uh, and I think for a hundred dollars, it's a good deal. For two hundred dollars, I do not believe so. Uh, and the case is very rigid and built very well. I do wish there were side. Uh, slides on them though there's a tab on each side that you press in and the drawer comes out so it, it locks in place uh, but the drawers do come out all the way they're not on slides it's just kind of friction uh, so I do wish they were on slides and then possibly removable slides as well but it is what it is and for a hundred dollars I think it's a good deal another sliding compound saw at 550 down from 650 the craftsman boxes it's down from 630 to 540 I don't bother with the Craftsman boxes anymore. I don't even bother looking at them anymore. I just, I haven't been impressed at all with any of their toolboxes in the last few years. I feel like they're all very flimsy. Now, if you're a weekend warrior, DIYer and stuff, and you don't use it all that much, it'd probably be fine. But for that price range, there are a lot of others available in that price range that, in my personal opinion, are better. Here's a workbench from craftsman this wouldn't be too bad uh, as long as it's sturdy down from 320 to 230 a dremel down ten dollars from 100 to 90 here they have a cobalt 24 volt half inch brushless drill i don't necessarily run the cobalt tool lineup i do have their drill actually it's probably this drill um I got the drill by itself because I'm guessing somebody came in for a warranty and took the battery and charger or something along those lines and I was able to just get the drill for like 25 or $30. Uh, so I wasn't going to pass it up and the only reason I purchased that is because I had previous year bought the Cobalt 24 volt uh, lawn care, I guess you want to call it, a kit. It's a leaf blower and a weed eater and it's worked very well for lawn care and it came with a 24 volt battery. Uh, so I picked up the drill just because it was so cheap and uh, I haven't had any issues with it I don't necessarily care for the ramp up speed on it But other than that it's been a drill or it's been a pretty good drill uh, For what it is especially for 25 or 30 dollars. So another craftsman box smaller one craftsman top box Here's a 24 volt brushless and that's the thing all of uh, cobalt stuff are brushless tools as well So that is nice here is a DeWalt set. It is their drill, their hammer drill. 
and impact driver for 230 down from 280. I'm actually thinking about getting the DeWalt oscillating tool. So if you guys have any experience with this, please let me know. Uh, I'm going to be doing some home improvement things around the house, and I really believe this could be very helpful. So if you guys have much experience with this uh, oscillating tool from DeWalt, please feel free to drop a comment down below and let me know. These pancake compressors, um, I feel like these things are always on sale. Another combo kit drill and impact driver this is the the cheaper version uh non brushless or it's brushed and not a non hammer drill it comes with two batteries this one was two batteries with the power stack batteries so that that seems like a good deal to me the hammer drill plus two power stack batteries the charger bag and a impact driver for 230 and this one's 160 i would definitely go with the other kit with the power stack batteries Another Craftsman top box, a cobalt drill and impact for 160. That doesn't seem like a bad deal down from 200. Now, granted, uh, I don't have a lot of experience with the cobalt power tools, but uh, the little experience I do have with them, they seem to be pretty decent. Uh, so, if I was just a weekend warrior DIYer uh, and didn't already have the DeWalt or Milwaukee stuff, I may consider the cobalt, um, but obviously i would do a little bit more research into each specific tool before making that purchase but they do seem to have a lot on sale here's a drill with the battery charger and bag for 120. here's a sliding compound saw seven and a quarter inch for 270. that doesn't seem like a bad price here's the 150 piece craftsman gunmetal chrome mechanic socket set uh at 180 down from 200. i do believe around the holiday times these things are on a much better deal so if you are considering this socket set i do believe around the holidays it is a much better deal than what is what it's on sale for now here's a little bit socket set combo set 110 pieces they always have these little bit sets on sale this one it's four different ones with different drill bits and bit attachments and things like that for 35 dollars down from 50 that doesn't seem like a bad deal first time seeing this 24 volt cordless wet dry shop back from cobalt haven't seen that one before for a hundred dollars the cobalt cordless ratchet at 130 i have the milwaukee cordless ratchet and i really enjoy it uh the cobalt one it just seems really big to me though uh, i'm sure it's a decent tool but to me it's just quite a bit bigger than some of the other ones on the market but there are a few out there that are this size as well cordless shop vac for 120 i did not i didn't even realize cobalt was uh, offering these this is the 40 volt version dual cordless brushless drill for $90 that's not a bad deal it's just the tool itself but I do believe this is one of the drills that you can get in those kits with a battery and charger and stuff for about $100 so this is not the leaf blower that I have this one looks much smaller than the one that I have but this one is $60 here's a cobalt 129 piece socket set for $90 down from 110 so less than a dollar per piece so that's that's always a good deal especially if you just need something to throw in your vehicle or anything like that for roadside emergencies um, definitely not a very good selection of wrenches i can tell you that but cobalt and all these brands have a lot of different variations of socket sets it's it's ridiculous the amount of different socket sets all these companies have now I'm just going to go ahead and look at some of the hand tools now that we've already seen quite a few of the uh, power tools primarily dewalt and cobalt so those are the three th things i've already mentioned so not a whole lot as far as the savings on hand tools going on right now you got a couple of smaller craftsman socket sets uh this one's 25 dollars down from 33 dollars it's sae and metric quarter inch little set screwdriver set from cobalt down from 20 dollars to 17 dollars there's an 83 piece craftsman socket set with sae and metric Smaller wrench set, 11 piece set, SAE from Craftsman, down from 30 to 25. Here's the metric version. Another Craftsman little socket set, SAE and metric. This one is the 3 H drive set. That's basically it. So we looked at some of the power tools. Uh, there are a lot of power tools and stuff, but it's just di different variations of basically the same tools coming with different things, different combinations put together. Uh, but they always have things going on, especially you want to check out the website specifically more for those buy this, get this free 
uh, or select your own tool. Those are things that you may miss out on if you go to the store and purchase something. This, when you check out the website, it shows you directly before you click on it. Uh, and then also once you click on it, the things that are available to get for free with it, which are things that you might miss out in the store if you don't know that that's going on. So the website is definitely something to check out every once in a while just to see if, if you're interested in a specific tool. Make sure you can't, you know, get a really good deal by purchasing by purchasing it online. So then we went over some hand tools that they had on sale. Nothing too fantastic there. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. If there's any specific tools or any specific thing that you want to see as far as uh, videos, please feel free to drop a comment down below. Also, I'll be doing a Home Depot version of this video. So if you guys enjoyed, please make sure to hit that thumbs up. Leave a comment down below over your guys' thoughts as well as uh, how you felt about some of those products that I had asked about. And as always, if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. See you guys next time.